The security of the internet connected devices that we use in our daily lives heavily depends on the apps used to access, monitor and control the devices. I will show an easy way how to, you can obtain the username and password that a Tesla owner is using to log into the Tesla app and use that to control his car. The methods we use for this are uh, really simple and they have been uh, known for years and have been also used by cyber criminals for a long time. What I've done now is I've created a free Wi-Fi hotspot that displays an advertisement that's targeted towards Tesla owners that uh, says that if you install this free app, you can get a free burger at the restaurant close by. So I can see now here Lars has uh, logged into my Wi-Fi hotspot. What happened now is that uh, Lars uh, was tricked to install an app on his phone. The app installed malware on his phone and that malware is manipulating the Tesla app on his device so that when Lars uh, logs into the app, um, it will send his username and password to me. So now here I can see uh, where, he, uh, where he actually is. And let's just wait and see uh, where he's parking. If I was really a criminal, I would have done this not during the day, walking around with a big laptop, but I would probably use a small phone or something. But this is just a demonstration, right? Let's see, I think it should be over there. Okay, there you see, that's the car. Let's see what we can do with it. And now the last thing I have to do, I have to be able to drive the car without having the key. That's also possible. The keyless driving is enabled, which means we can just drive off with the car. Let's try. And that's how easy it was. We have full control of the Tesla and can just drive off with it.